It all started last month in Yugoslavia when Nicky Pilic, their 33-year-old star professional, failed to represent his country in a Davis Cup match against New Zealand. He was promptly suspended for nine months by the Yugoslav Lawn Tennis Association. On appeal, this was reduced by the International Lawn Tennis Federation to one month, but that still means Pilic will miss Wimbledon. Now the 98 members of the Tennis Professionals Association have said that if Pilic isn't allowed to play, they won't appear either. Today's decision to apply for a court injunction is an attempt to break the deadlock. An easy way out might have been for Pilic to have simply withdrawn his Wimbledon entry. Today that was a point put to both Pilic and the PTA's Jack Kramer. Nicky uh, to the boys uh, suggested that perhaps that would be uh uh, a, a nicest way out at this point. And his fellow players uh, elected not to possibly let him do that. As I say, gentlemen, if you've got an association, uh, the members have got to back that player up. If he's in the wrong, you back up for suspension. And in fact, you suspend him in some way yourself. But if he's in the right, you have to back up your member or else you're not going to have any members eventually. I spoke with, uh, with a lot of directors of ATP and uh, they stay behind me because they have a feeling that I'm in right. We really, all of us, we really will do everything to play with them because uh, we felt that uh, it's, it's the most important tournament in the world. If the application for an injunction fails, some other big names could drop out, including Stan Smith, the winner of last year's men's final, Ili Nastase, and another former champion, John Newcomb. It's unlikely that the writ will be considered tomorrow, so it could be the middle of next week before we know just who will be playing at Wimbledon this year.